Right in southwest Ohio, Hamilton, Ohio, is where the once prominent champion paper mill once resided on the west side right on North River Street where now the Spooky Nook development is taking place. Hamilton in its most recent years has gone under a lot of renovation, planning, and development. This has come from the city being blighted, having lost less opportunity in jobs, and also not having much activity in the area. Downtown is experiencing a big revitalization in development and economic plan as we speak. We can see development all throughout downtown, but the major development is coming soon. Throughout downtown Hamilton, many can see the aesthetics that's going on in the area of upkeep landscape, landscaping, street lights, park benches, and also renovated roads as well. This is all in an effort for the cum accumulation of what will happen soon in 2021 when Spooky Nook first opens its doors. Hamilton plans on preparing itself fully for what is come to, for what is to come in the future. Peter G. Thompson was the founder of the original paper mail. He first opened his doors in 1848 and was a papermaking coke company. They locally serviced Miami Valley companies as well as so far as Kentucky as well. They were very small in operational size, but they were also very, very efficient. This, is the, this was the beginning steps of the Champion Paper Mill. Now, out of all places, one may think, why was Hamilton, especially the west side of Hamilton, chosen to be the desired location of the paper mill? Peter G. Thompson knew at the time that canal ways and riverways were the ways of transportation, and the Miami Valley had a lot of manufacturing and paper products that were going on at the moment in time. So he strategically located himself along the river so transportation would be easier to get to and from manufacturing facilities to distribute his papers. As time has passed, Hamilton has not had great modes of transportation. Local municipalities and towns have grown exponentially due to the development of highways from 75 to 275. It is very hard for manufacturers to come into Hamilton due to the inaccessibility and logistical problem of coming in and out of Hamilton. Hamilton has struggled with the wisdom to progress and solve this issue. So that's where Spooky Nook comes into place. The Champion Mill for a while now since 2003 has closed its doors and become a blighted area and an area of concern for most residents and people within the area of Hamilton. Since 2003, many in the city planning and government office have tried to find ways to either bring manufacturers in or bring activity into the area, but it's very hard with Hamilton being very distinct and outside. So in 2017, they filed a petition for them to get Spooky Nook and it did end up happening. Well, the signs are up here in Hamilton. Spring 2021 is when Spooky Nook is set to open, and already local, business, local businesses are preparing for its impact. All aboard a new opportunity. Then you walk in and you're like, wow. Several dozen business owners and community leaders making the trek to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, providing our first good look at the bones inside the Spooky Nook Sports Complex. The impact that it has for the neighboring area. So I think for us, it opens up opportunities and possibilities for small business. Shamana Curtis is looking specifically for how, for how the facility would impact the city's second floor with housing and economic development. We wanted to kind of unite our community to see how can we be ready for when this hits. For Sherry Hoskins, we need to get ready. The owner of Pedals in Wicks. See, we don't need to wait two years from now. The trip is an eye-opener for her. Remodel and a remodel. Um, we're going to put another full bar over here so we can see have more capacity for people to come in here when they're when they're in this spooky nook. The group met with Lancaster business owners. They got about a 250 percent increase in business just because of spooky nook. So if we get a fraction of that, we're going to be real happy. For Dan Bates, you don't get two chances like this. Having the city prepared is key. You know, this is not just about the center um, but hotels and restaurants and activities you know all around us are, are going to benefit from this. The development calls for an athletic here we can see a detailed view of the hotel in the Champion Mill side apart from Spooky Nook that will be coming into the Hamilton area right across the street from North B Street. It will be a very innovative area where most where most people could come in from out of town and dine, eat, and also stay 
and also enjoy their company within the town. This is also a very well need for Hamilton because their tourism is not where it should be. This project has big significance, not only for the area that is coming in, but also the use that it brings to the area. Spooky Nook is a sports complex that will bring innovation to Southwest Ohio and not just Hamilton itself. This economic impact of a project of this magnitude will make everyone in not only in the nearby communities feel the impact of it, but also in Southwest Ohio as well.